Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids. Today we're looking at this, which is from the Search series from Rovivon. This is the S23. EDC friendly, but also a great bag light. As you can see, this thing's got some size and some heft to it. Pretty fancy interface right there. We'll talk about that in detail. I've checked out probably a half dozen, give or take, uh, Rovivon flashlights, and everyone so far has been pretty unique and has functioned well. There's some that I like more, some that I like, uh, some that I like less, but none of them have bombed on me. Um, so I'm intrigued by this one. When they reached out, I wanted to check it out. So let me give you some of the details, and then certainly we'll take it out into the night and use it. So in the box, you're going to get the light. Obviously, it does come with a battery. You're also going to get the USB-C cord for recharging it, and it is quite a long cord. Let me just show you here real quick. Sometimes you get these little puny cords, which are pretty challenging to uh, to actually you know plug in and like set up, but that's a nice long cord. So that's cool. You get a little bag of kind of goodies. This is um, a lanyard and then an extra O-ring in there and then an extra cover for the battery port. You get the user manual and then you get a little kind of like a warranty thing from uh, from Rovivon. The box is pretty simple. That's what it looks like. On the back, they do have some info right there, which is helpful. So there's a physical lock. It is hands-free, meaning that the end, yep, it says right there. You have magnetic base, which I think is great. I wish more flashlight companies would do that. Uh, 5,000 milliamp, um, milliamp hour battery, 4,000 lumens for your max output, 200 meter distance, 188 grams weight in IPX8 rated. Speaking of the battery, so you're gonna uncap the bottom here. And then here is your battery. So it's a Samsung battery at 21,700, as I said, 4,000 milliamp hour battery. No, no big button top there, pretty flat, just FYI. So put it in with your positive end facing toward the bezel. Put that in here, crank this down. The spring is pretty strong, so make sure that you got a hold of it so it doesn't go flying all over the place. And then I will show you real quick, when you hit the button, you can see how charged up it is. I got all four of those blue lights. Um, when I got this, I did attempt to charge it because I was like, I'm sure it's coming in low and it charged almost immediately. So um, yeah, that's cool. Just a heads up when you get it, you're not gonna have to charge it for six hours or something like that uh, when it arrives from the, the company. Here's your USB-C on the back. Tiny little tab there, but you pull it back and plug it in to charge it up. And I'll roll in footage here so you can see what that actually looks like. You know, put, plug it into your wall charger. You could charge it off a computer if you wanted to. Most people have an adapter that can go into their wall to uh, charge off a USB-C. All right, so one of the first things I want to mention is what I've mentioned a lot of times, particularly with through night flashlights, is that they have the different colors that light up to show you how much battery has got left. And I think it's from like 20 to 100%, something like that. Um, it's a huge range with one color. With this one, when you have all four of those little blue, where are they right there? Up top, those little blue dots lit up. Let me show you. That means you have 60 to 100%. If you have three, you have 40 to 59%. If you have two, you have 20 to 39%. Um, if you have one blue, it's five to 19%. And if it's red, you have less than 5%. That's awesome. Now you have a real sense of how much battery power you have left. 20 to 100% is like, that's just such a broad range. It's not super helpful. So thumbs up for Rovivon on that piece of the design. All right, so really unique interface. You notice I hit the button before and it showed you how much battery power has left. it has left, but when I hit the button, no light comes on. You see this little kind of thing here, these two little paddles. So you're gonna turn it toward the side that just has the normal flashlight there. So basically turn this sideways and now it's gonna come on. So eco, low, medium, high. So one, two, three, four, and then back down to the lowest. And then when you turn it off by spinning this, it's gonna memorize whatever setting you were on. If I go to the other side, you're gonna get the flashing option. So strobe warning here, there's that. And I don't know if you could see it on camera, but it is a it is a multi-flash option. So it flashes a little bit, it's fast, but it's fast and then faster and then fast and then faster. So it kind of mixes it up with the uh, strobe option. So very different interface, but when you're holding it like this, like that's exactly where your thumb falls. So push it to the side, push it to the side, yeah, and it's it's got some real tension there. It doesn't feel like it's just sort of like flopping over. You really got to push it. I don't think you're going to accidentally knock it. You're as likely to accidentally hit the button and turn on a flashlight as you are to accidentally push this over to the side and have it turn on in your pocket. 
Now, when you go over to the flashing mode, you can also hit the button and it's gonna go between strobe and SOS. So strobe warning here. So over to the side, there's your strobe and then hit it and it's gonna go to SOS mode, which you can see right there. There's the slow flashes. I hit it again, back to strobe, and then again, turn it to the side and it's gonna go off. All right, let's talk about run times. So at your eco mode, that's gonna be 30 lumens. That's gonna give you 65 hours. At your low, it's 200 lumens for 13.5 hours. Your medium is 1200 for two hours. Your high is 2200 lumens. That's gonna run for about two and a half minutes. Then it's gonna drop back down to your uh, medium mode and run for 1.8 hours. Now you also have a turbo mode. So when it's on as a normal flashlight, if you hold down the uh, selector switch there. It's gonna go to your turbo mode. It's gonna give you 4,000 lumens. And when you let go, it's gonna drop back down to whatever normal setting you had it on. So hold it down, there's your turbo. Let go, drop down, hold it down, turbo, let go, drop down. So it doesn't have a runtime for the turbo. If you're gonna get um, actually two minutes, I think I said 2.5, but it's two minutes at your high, you're not gonna get a ton of time on the turbo, but, but it is nice to have it, you know, say on a medium set and you're looking around and then you're like, I need a lot of light, boom, hold that down. Okay, now I let go, it goes back to the medium. So pretty simple interface. Um, I do like, it's different as far as that swinging that thing side to side and then your your interface to, um, to click it, but it's simple to work. Um, USB-C rechargeable, I like that it's not a built-in battery. That's a win. Um, for some people, it's gonna be a little bit big, I think for EDC, but I think as far as a bag light or emergency light, it's great. I love the magnetic base. That's definitely a win. So um, yeah, I mean, that's, that's the rundown of the details now. It's all about how does it work at night. So let's take it out into the night and use it. All right, let's test this thing out. We're looking at the side of my house, about 35 feet away. Here's 30 lumens. So quite a bit of output, even at 30 lumens. Let's go up to 200 here. So 30 first and now 200 here. Up to 1,200 here. As you can see, we're getting rid of a, uh, a washer there. And then here's 2,000. Just a ton of output. And then up to 4,000. So just a lot of light that this thing is putting out. All right, looking out into the side yard now, you can see this is what 30 looks like. Let's go up to 200 here. Again, quite a lot of light. Um, I would say, yeah, I mean, it's definitely, it's giving me a nice wide amount of light. So sort of floody, but still does definitely punch out into the night. So a nice balance, I would say. And here's 1200. And I could see the entire yard quite easily, 2000. And 4000 here. Let's go to the strobe setting, so strobe warning. There's strobe. Here's your SOS. So here's 200 now, as I'm walking across the yard, I'm gonna head to the edge of the woods. We'll look out into the uh, woods, obviously it's a little, a little bit thicker. Once you're shining it into the trees, so you can see what that looks like. So here's a 200 looking off into the woods. Go up to 1200. And that is just a ton of light. Really nice. Here's 2000. And then the 4000. Back down to 2,000, here's the eco. You can certainly get around. This is not a, a, enough light to really, you know, throw a ton of light out into the distance. As you can probably see 25 feet away pretty well. But I definitely wanted at least up at the 200 if I was walking through the woods. All right, we're looking back at the cars in the driveway here. Just show you another, uh, another view of the different lumen outputs. So we'll start down at the lowest. So here's the eco setting again. Up to 200 again. 
1200 2000 and then 4000 a lot of light just a ton of light looking back this way so here's 4000 2000 4000 2000 yeah i mean just a really nice amount of light so when i'm shining it right at the yellow uh slide there i can see all the way over to that tree with the tree swing or with the tire swing and then over this way i can see all the way over to you know kind of the, the pine tree there so quite a bit of light when you're shining it just straight ahead at 2000 lumens all right guys wrapping up here talking about the robivon s23 so price point you're looking at about 110 on Amazon right now. They do have a little bit of a coupon where you save 10 or 15%. So if you're interested, I would head over and check it out really soon. Um, I think this is like a buy once, cry once type of situation where, yeah, you're spending over 100 bucks, but you're getting a rechargeable battery that you can swap out. You're getting a cool interface. You're getting, as you saw, I mean, it, I wouldn't even call it a searchlight. I wouldn't call it a spotlight. It's a really nice mix. You can EDC it. You can put it in the bag. I, I really like, I'll give you a couple examples. Surefire Fury. Um, I like the PD35 TAC and things in the, that kind of category from uh, Phoenix. PowerTech E9, that one's a little bit more compact than this one. This is definitely a bit bigger. So if you want a smaller EDC, I would go with something else maybe. Um, but for a, a slightly larger EDC and something for bag, car, home, emergency kit, this is something I think is cool. Like I said, it's a buy once, cry once type of situation. But I do think it's a, uh, a good investment. And a big thing for me is I haven't had any issues with Roe v. Vaughn flashlights. Nothing's crashed on me, died on me, whatever it is. So, um, yeah, not a cheap flashlight. Not an inexpensive flashlight, but um, I think it's, it could be a really good investment. I will say you got to get used to the interface, right? So if you're like, I just want a standard end pressure switch. I don't want anything that's kind of unique like that. Go for something else. But it will take a little bit, little bit of getting used to. But once you get used to it... I do like it. Um, I don't know where I'm going to put this guy or how I'm going to uh, utilize this guy immediately, but this will definitely be in the rotation for me. So Rovivon S23, let's hear your thoughts on it. And let's get that conversation started in the comment section now. All right, thanks as always for checking out the videos here on YouTube. Please subscribe to Everyday Tactical Vids if you haven't done so already. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. Check us out on Instagram, Tumblr, and Vero as well. More videos coming soon. Take care.